Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and before that, they were the they were the uh, they were the Romans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were no, my no, people. They no, uh, no, they, no, 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 no. they came in and kicked butt too. Yeah, yeah. That's what, that's what this whole whole world is about. It's kicking butt for some reason. Can someone why. play? Sure. Where's Mitch? She can play. No, we need somebody to. I think it'd be better. Be more no. We need somebody who knows what they're doing. Not me. I don't know. Uh, Mitch is gone. Or Tim fits around up a bit. Yeah, Tim. Tim Fitzrandolph? Apparently. Well, he's a, he's a talented gentleman. He can uh, he can speak Japanese. Yeah. I, can, I can't I can't speak Japanese. No, it's pretty impressive though, isn't it? Yes, it's very impressive. Yeah. He makes his own video games at home as well. That's that's pretty impressive too. Oh, cool, yeah. We're getting back with Tim. Tim's going to help us out again. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Tim. Thanks, Tim. <laughs> they said you were the only one that could play this game any good. Anyway, so behind the scenes we have uh, Tim Fitzrandolph's helping us with uh, playing the game. And we get to talk to Jason, Jason Avent. But we were just talking about England, right? What part yeah. of England are you from? Um, our studio is in Brighton. Originally from I'm Brighton. from Bristol, but I live in, uh, I live in Brighton and so work in Brighton. Do you follow, follow football? Uh, no, not really. You no, don't I don't. Football? No, or soccer. Oh, well. No, I don't. No, I don't follow soccer. You don't follow soccer? No. Okay, well, that's very unusual for someone from Britain. I know, you're absolutely right. Okay, so uh, can you show me something about the product? Okay, yeah, so Pure is an off-road trick racing game. It's like an extreme uh, action sport. Uh, it's all about going really, really fast, um, jumping hundreds of feet in the air, and pulling loads of tricks. Um, most, most, of them are, most of them are actually possible in real life, but... Um, once you once you boost up and boost up, you can do some really wild stuff. The nice thing is you don't need a hospital plan to do that. Exactly, it? exactly. I mean, that's what video games are kind of all about. They're about like realizing dreams that you can't. Yeah, you you, you don't want to don't want to endanger yourself. You can't do in you can't do in real life. So um, this is totally totally an exaggerated reality. So you're already say say 10,000 feet up in the air on top of a mountain range, and then when you when you jump one or two or 300 feet up in the air, you feel like you're right on the edge of the world. So where's this uh, where's this mountain range that we're on? Well, this is this is the these are the mountains around Lake Garda in Italy, in northern Italy. In, in northern Italy, Italy okay. Yeah. Is that in the Dolomite side? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. These the the. Uh, oh my gosh! Uh oh, he's not going to make it through that one. Oh, hmm. that must have hurt. <laughs> so he's charged up the bar now on the bottom right hand corner, and this is a special trick. So this is where it goes absolutely mental. It's a real pastiche of Italy. I don't know if you've ever been to Italy before, but it's not usually got all these uh, all these uh, statues and stuff everywhere and these ruins. So we're definitely kind of taking a bit a of liberty of with it. Yeah, it's a little bit of liberty. A friend of mine had a re owned a resort on a lake in Italy. Oh, is that right? The Dolomite Mountains. Oh, that sounds great. This is the it probably same is place. then. Yeah, it probably is around that kind of area. But I'm pretty sure that all these statues weren't there. It's yeah. good of you to point that out. <laughs> so this is an ATV he's on, right? Yeah, it's a quad bike. Yeah. So we chose quad bikes because they've got four wheels, so they kind of they handle familiarly. They're kind of similar to a car. Um, but what's really great about them is they're light and agile. Uh, and they can do, you know, they can jump hundreds of feet in the air and pull loads of tricks. And that, that's kind of unique. They're a li unique little vehicle like that. So we wanted to base a game around that, that kind of concept, um, really bring out why they're, why they're cool and, and, um, and, uh, and make, it, make it much larger, much larger than life. So um, who's, whose idea was, was it for this game initially? Uh, well, we've had some experience with quad bike and off-road racing games before, so we wanted it when we moved to uh, to Disney because we were acquired by Disney in 2000 and, in 2006. Um, we wanted to take a little bit from our past, but also do something completely new. So we knew we wanted to do an arcade game. Um, I guess a you know a good portion of the a good portion of the ideas came from came from the team. You know, most of the most of the reasons why a, a video game is successful or good is because of the the ideas that you get when you're making it, and those those often come from the team. Oh my God, that is far too. <laughs> so what you've commented yeah, on that vertigo rush, this feeling of um, these beautiful vistas, vertigo, and a uh, massive feeling of verticality. Oops. Oh, he lost it. Yep, instant, instant replay. <laughs> Very neat. 
So is this uh, cooperative? Or, um... uh, no, but there is a competitive multiplayer with up to 16 players, which is kind of double what a lot of the a lot of our contemporary competitors have. What, what machines is it available? It's on uh, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC, and it will be out this September. Does it work with uh, wheels or anything? No, like no. Well, it will do. It will do. But we don't have any particular. We don't have any particular support for, uh, for each of those. For, for any any particular peripheral. So basically, whatever controller. Uh, well, it works best on the controller. Yeah, it works best on the controller. I, gu I guess there, you know, there are peripherals that you can plug in. You could use a steering wheel, but because the trick system is quite complex in terms of um, in terms of the amount of buttons that you need, um, it's uh, it's much 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 simpler to use the the, the joypad. Absolutely fantastic. It's, it has a lot of visuals to it, Jason. It really does. Mm, yeah, we've spent a lot of time on that. This, um, this, this, uh, the rendering engine, the um, the system that. Do you want to just go back, Tim, so that the. Uh, did you do any of the art? Uh, are, are you an artist yourself? No, no, I'm a, I'm the director of the project. So okay. we've the the team is about um, it peaks at near nearly 70 people uh, for two years, and we have uh, probably a third of those are artists, um, a, th a third of programmers, and a third of designers. So you, you keep them all on task. Yeah, yeah, you that kind of thing. Make sure make sure that we're make sure that we're all pushing in the same kind of direction, working on the same. Same um, on the same project, and you know, try and keep the try and keep the, the direction of the game focused, so that you know, everything that gets done makes it into the game, and all of the parts fit together into uh, a cohesive whole. How do, at what point did the game start gelling for you? Uh, we had the first playable. The first drivable was sort of uh, September, uh, the September 2007. Uh, and then by November, we, we had um, a very firm idea of what the game was going to be. We had one massive jump, and we so figured good that idea is what, that it what it's actually good. about. Yeah, from that, from that point on, and then it's kind of building on that and trying to, trying to come up with lots of different ways of exploiting that same kind of feeling, lots of ways of, of um, making, the, making the, the, the tracks feel really epic and uh, the jumps large and um, giving you lots of opportunities to pull tricks. Really, really is spectacular. Mm, cool. I think we've, I think we've, we've got pretty much cutting, te cutting edge technology at this point. Um, yeah, we've been, I've been walking around E3 today.